Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucia and this is Lulu's Leaves. In today's video, I'm going to be playing a little bit of catch up with you guys. It has been a little bit since I've made a video and just sat down and done something. I know that you guys saw my video from the convention just the other day, but I know that before that I did take a bit of time off. So I definitely want to go into more depth with you guys and talk to you about why that is and you know, just explain myself. But I also have a lot of planty things to do today. So we will also be doing that in today's video. Before we do get straight into it though, if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, if you guys are new here, definitely do that down below. And if you wanna give this video a thumbs up, that would be super helpful as well. I will be doing the giveaway for the $20 Amazon gift card in my next video. So be sure to leave a comment as well to get yourself entered. Also, if you want to stick with me while I take little breaks here and there, you can join as a member. All you have to do is click the join button down below. There's also a link in the description and that gives you access to my Discord group chat. And also if you join at the top two tiers, there is some extra content available. And I do post random videos every once in a while for those top tiers. I have had a few members join lately and they haven't reached out to me to join that Discord group chat. I try to post the Discord link when I see people joining. I try to post it on the community page for members only, but if you're not seeing that, definitely try to reach out to me if you're not already a part of that group chat. I'm not ignoring you, I'm just really trying to get you in, so. Yeah, that is going to be all before we get into today's video. I think actually I may as well just start off with why I have not been really on YouTube much lately. And the truth is I'm just a little burnt out. As you guys know, I've been making videos almost every other day or every day for the last year and a half and it gets to you. And I thought that I could keep going at this pace and I thought that you know, I would never run out of ideas, but the truth is I ran out of ideas and I just don't wanna be so repetitive just to, you know, get views or gain popularity. I really, I really don't want that to become what I'm doing on this channel. So I wanted to take a break and just see if I could recoup. I've also been doing some work for a vaccination clinic. So I'm helping out with vaccination clinics around the GTA, which you know is tiring. So it's just been a lot the last few weeks and I definitely needed a break. I feel somewhat ready to come back, but I'm still a little bit tired and I'm still a little bit, you know, unsure of what videos to make for you guys. I know that tours are always great. You guys love those tours. But if you have any ideas for, you know, those sit down videos that I like to do, definitely leave them in the comments down below because I need some inspo from you guys. And you are the best inspiration because you guys are my viewers. So definitely let me know if you have any ideas down below. But today we're just gonna do a nice little vlog. And yeah, I've also been, you know, golfing a little bit. My boyfriend and I have been going out golfing and it's been so fun. So I've kind of tried to push myself into that a little bit. And you know, it's been really, really fun and it's been getting my head back on straight. So yeah, hopefully just by, you know, diversifying what I'm doing with my time rather than just making it all about plants, I will be a little bit more inspired to come back and talk about plants with you guys. Now that I've talked your ear off, I may as well, you know, actually get into some of the chores. I will say it is a really gloomy day, so I'm sorry if the footage is a little bit dark and gloomy and shadowy, but that's kind of all I can do today. <laughs> My lights are on the brightest they can be, and it's still pretty dark in here, so. Sorry about that, but let's get straight on into it. So a lot of you guys wanted a Lumi update and the update is that she is growing and she has figured out how to get onto the countertop. Um, <laughs> you know what, I, I really don't wanna punish her because I know that cats don't really respond to punishing and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to make it as safe as possible because I know that she's probably just going to continue to come up here. So I'm just making sure the plants that are 
around her are safe. So yeah, she's on the windowsill right now, which I think is really cute. I like that she's able to look outside because she is an indoor cat. So, you know, it gives her the opportunity to explore a little bit, but she's my little best friend and uh, yeah. <laughs> Another Lumi update is the fact that she knocked over one of the plants that was in this corner. You guys know the Monstera Panata Partita that I had just right there. So she knocked that over three times last night in a span of 15 minutes. So I decided I was going to move that permanently. It's really just not worth it. And if you can't tell, she's kind of obsessed with this plant. She jumps up on it and she tries to rip off these things. I know this isn't like necessarily a pet safe plant, but it's also not super duper toxic. So I do kind of let her play with it. I mean, don't, don't hate on me, but <laughs> she's okay. She's not getting sick at all. I would obviously remove the plant if she was getting sick from it. She's not digesting any of it. So it's really more of a toy for her. So I'm not going to remove it at this point. But I decided to just put that little ZZ plant there because you know, it's on the floor and she's not gonna be able to knock that over. I am a little bit worried here. I did move my Anthurium vicii. She's not super interested in this one here, but she does sometimes walk across it when it was over there to get onto the chair. So I am moving it over here. Also, if you can't tell, um, I did use some string here. I'm trying to prop it back up because these leaves really like to hang over the sides. So I'm pushing it back up so these leaves kind of face down again. I think that will look a lot nicer for this plant when they do eventually, you know, go back into form. But yeah, as much as I liked that corner how it was, I also, you know, don't wanna be cleaning up dirt every five seconds. So I think that was definitely the best call. Um, if she, you know, gets a little bit less interested in knocking stuff over as she becomes an adult cat, maybe I'll move things back. But while she's a kitten and while she's really young, she's just really interested in exploring. And I don't really wanna punish her for, you know, knocking things over and stuff like that. So I've also decided I want to do some decluttering. And when I talk about decluttering, I mean in terms of my plants. I have a lot of plants right now that I do love, but ones that I could probably get rid of and I wouldn't even notice. And I do want to get rid of those ones because I just don't have the time to be taking care of plants that I don't truly love. So I do wanna go around and see if there are any plants that I just wanna get rid of today. And yeah, you guys can come along for that. This here is the Monstera Panata Partita that Lumi knocked over about, uh, you know, a few times last night. <laughs> but uh, I do think that I want to get rid of this guy. It's just not growing well in my care because uh, I just can't give it enough light. This here is just a big runner that it's put out because it, uh, it needs more light and I just don't have a spot for it where it's going to get enough. So if you are interested in purchasing this little guy for me, let me know, DM me on Instagram. It's really hard for me to contact you guys through the comments, but if you do want it, DM me on Instagram or something. I did actually get this Pilea peperomioides the other day. This is the plant that I didn't think I would get another one of, but when I saw this one, I knew I had to have it. I just can't believe how full it is. There is not a single spot where a leaf is not. So, you know, it's gonna be a really nice bushy plant and I think it looks adorable in this nice circular pot like that. This plant just really resonated with me, so I wanted to get it. I think the pot was $9 and the plant was like $18, which the plant was a little bit overpriced maybe, but I still did really like it. And when I got up to the cash, I didn't really want to turn it down. This guy here is probably one that I would also get rid of if anyone wanted it. It's obviously just a little bit thirsty right now, but it's perfectly healthy. I will water it. But yeah, I think this is one that I could probably do without at this point. Um, I don't know, just not my favorite Hoya anymore. I haven't had it bloom and I know that they bloom really easily. So I don't know, I think I'm just not caring for it the way it needs to be cared for. This here is one that I'm really obsessed with right now. This is my Syndapsis Pictus Exotica. Um, it clearly doesn't get a ton of light cause it is getting pretty leggy. But I don't know, I don't mind that look at all. 
This vine is not the worst. It probably skips one node and then puts out a new leaf. This one here, you know, it's definitely putting out some runners. I may actually propagate this and just, uh, just do node propagations. That might be fun, but it is just such a nice bushy plant on top and I seem to be taking pretty good care of it. It's, it's pretty good at telling me when it needs water. Oh yeah, I also got this really gorgeous crystal um, when I was at the store getting that Pilea peperomioides. I think this is so pretty. It goes really nicely with my room as well. I kind of forget what it is. Look how stunning that is. If you guys know what this is, just let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure there are a lot of, you know, crystal fans out there. Just kind of sits there. I also wanted to give you guys an update on the regal here. It is looking really beautiful. This leaf seems to be pretty perfect. So I'm hoping that this problem wasn't bacterial like I thought it once was. I think that it was probably just because I treated it um, and didn't do the best job. But yeah, look how stunning that is. And the roots on this plant are just insane. So I'm probably gonna have to repot it again pretty soon. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really stunning leaf. I am also selling this one, so if you're interested, just DM me. But uh, yeah, I do have another regal, so I don't need two at this point. Well, I think the last thing that I have planned at this point are some growth updates just from my plant room. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys because there are some really great things happening in there and specifically a lot of growth on plants that haven't done anything for like a year or more. So here my Gloriosum is obviously doing really, really well. Um, this leaf has been yellowing really slowly since I got the plant, but I'm just gonna keep it on until it's completely yellow because it is definitely giving energy back to this plant. We have got a ton of new, really nice growth on this plant. This is a new leaf here. This is a new leaf here. There's also a new growth coming in back there that's gonna be really nice and big. This is new growth. So this plant is really, really happy right now and I'm pretty impressed because it's not getting a ton of light. Definitely happy with the way this one is going, but I'm probably going to have to re-Velcro this to kind of reorganize how it's looking because it's a little bit funky right now but it's also really giant, which is nice. We also got a new leaf on my Philodendron Glorious here. This one, you know, had some ugly leaves for a while, but it is finally back and doing really nice. Look how beautiful that leaf is. It's honestly perfect. So I couldn't have asked for much more from this plant and it has, you know, new growth on the way too, which is great. Then if we go on into my cabinet, here is where the, you know, real stuff is happening. We've got some really great growth from my philodendron strawberry shake here. The newest leaf it put out was completely green, but I'm actually not worried at all. You know, the other leaves have really nice variegation, so it's very likely that it's gonna be just fine for the next few leaves. We'll see about that though. If not, I'll just, you know, chop it and it'll be fine. We also have new growth on my Dishidia or my watermelon Dishidia, which is one that hasn't grown since I got it about a year and a half ago. So that is really, really exciting. This kind of just popped out randomly. We also have some amazing new growth on my Callistophylla short leaf. This is another one that hasn't grown for two years now. And uh, it's finally pushing out two really nice new leaves. So I'm gonna keep it up near the light. Hopefully they stay a little bit sun stressed. That would be nice. And then down here, we're finally getting some really large growth on my Philodendron biliatia. The last two leaves are the largest leaves this plant has put out for me yet. So it's really exciting. It is starting to grow in size a little bit. It is back to where it was prior to when I cut it for the Vichii that I have now. But yeah, it's looking really, really good. I repotted it in a video a little while ago and that seems to have done the trick. Yeah, that's the second newest leaf there. And then the other newest one is still growing a little bit, but it's looking great. So couldn't be more happy with this one. I've got new growth on my Philodendron varicosum, also my Philodendron snowdrift, which is just such a beautiful plant. I have been waiting and waiting to be able to propagate this guy because I know a lot of you guys are interested, but unfortunately, you know, it's still not ready to be propagated. So as soon as it is, I will let you guys know. And then we also have some new growth on the El Chaco, which 
you know, this thing is always growing, as you can see. It has lost a lot of leaves around the base, but that's pretty normal with philodendrons that are climbers. We still have a lot of leaves on this one and a new one there. It did rip a little bit, but it's still pretty good. And I think the last update is just that leaf on the top of my philodendron pastizanum there. Looks like it needs a little bit of water. This one's pretty dramatic um, about being droopy when it's thirsty, but yeah, really pretty. Well guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I am really sorry that I haven't been posting a lot lately. I feel bad because I know there are a lot of you guys out there that watch every single one of my videos and look forward to them every other day, but I'm just doing what's best for me right now and that is just taking it easy. So I'm going to try to post at least twice a week right now and then just see where I'm at. If I can do three times a week, I will do three times a week, but it gets a little bit tiring. So I am going to just do my best for the time being. With that being said though, thank you guys so much for watching this video. That is going to be all from me. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.